Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It's Ryder here and today we are back in the crew too. Now, today it is finally time to collect the Bugatti Chiron Carbon Edition from Icon Level 1000. As you can see up in the top corner, I am 998 and I'm about to go get my followers from this last summit. Right here, I got gold. I'm gonna get my followers. There it is, a thousand and seven. Woo! Alright, yeah, so I'll be doing that later, but today we are here for the Carbon Edition Chiron. So, let's hop into our timeline. And let's collect this beautiful car. We finally got it. Oh, all right. There we go. Now. All right. Let's just fly over here to our home and customize this bad boy. Actually, first, what I want to do is I'm going to land here. Boink. Let's hop in to this new car. There it is. Oh, boy. Let's slap in some beautiful parts. There it is. The Bugatti Chiron. Now. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. It is a fat pig. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Why is it so slow? Okay, I got some serious issues. My wheel is not working. So it seems like my brake is constantly on right now. So I can't test the speed. There we are. That's a tree. I just went through that tree. hop in here get some nice customization I know there isn't that much customization with this vehicle um, just because it is a special thing so we can't do yeah we can't do anything which kind of sucks we can do the vanity however so of course I'm gonna go with the blue Rafa wheels to match the red accents and let's, let's go with the red smoke I like the look of this car all right sorry about that everybody um kind of an idiot i turned my uh steering wheel to ps3 on accident so i messed up on my controls but they are back now and we can test out this awesome french fatso now already i could i mean this is the most powerful car I have I believe it might actually let's see this compared to the Devo so 1638 1638 okay so these are the exact same exact same um, which doesn't make much sense to me because in real life the Chiron is more powerful than the Devo um, as you can see back there the dual V8s. This thing is a beast. Um, yeah, I can definitely feel the power compared to all my other hypercars. But it's a massive boat. It is like full on. Um, not quite, but it feels very old muscle car feel. Like very boaty, drifty, heavy, hard to turn. Like it's not one of the light peppy cars so let's of course as usual head over to the salt flats to test out these thing for real now we go slap in here 
And let's see what high speeds we can get to. Let's try and get our max speed. Oh, I got a blinker. Alright, so... It's climbing not as fast as I would think. The Goista, which is my main hypercar that I use, would be climbing a tiny bit faster. But this is doing pretty good, I gotta say. Okay, we are holding up here in these high 280s. Alright, so it seems like can't really see now because there's not enough length um yeah i can't get up to those speeds anymore <sighs> okay so it seems like i hit 283 282 there it dropped down to about steady at 281 so it seems about yeah 280 is its um steady speed um i'm gonna oh wow <laughs> nice little barrel roll um I'm gonna find this blinker and we'll see how this thing handles off-road. This is surprisingly very good at off-road for a hypercar. I mean, it's climbing in the 90s, 80s, high 80s, it's still climbing. And like my other hypercars are barely holding on in the 60s. So this this is definitely the beast um, that it is. Yeah, it seems to do really well off-road. I'm very surprised. Yeah, I mean, it's climbing up to 80, like nothing. Let's punch it through here and see. Yeah, this thing just... 90 seems very steady. That is... that's good to know. It's very surprising. Almost at this blinker. Let's go over here. This thing is just massive. I really wish there was some customization, like... For the carbon edition, I wish you could change the red, the red accents to any color you wanted. Um, I think that would be really cool. I do quite like the red, but I think that would be kind of nice if you could change that. I get it's like a special edition, but like give us some diffusers, some different like lighting options, maybe some covers for the engines in there. Um, maybe some different front bumpers and headlights. I don't know, just something to make it a little bit customizable here are the parts let's slap some of them in okay hopefully yep there's the gold uh, let's get this bad okay we didn't get it all the way to gold that is okay it is very close yeah. now so it seems like this is the highest up in my group personally I think the LaFerrari could smoke it but it's pretty dang good. I am very happy with this vehicle. I'm so excited to flex this in front of all my friends who are lower level. This is an awesome car. Anyway, guys, pretty short episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. And I will see you next time. Bye!